hello welcome in this short video let us look at the derivation of the mean of beta binomial distribution so the beta binomial distribution is given by that is probability of x so the, the so the beta binomial distribution is given by probability of x equal to x the parameters n alpha and beta the parameters n alpha and beta it is defined as n c x that is a combination of n and x and then we have n of uh, gamma of alpha plus beta we have gamma of alpha plus beta gamma of alpha gamma of beta and then gamma of x plus alpha and then n minus x plus beta divided by gamma of alpha plus beta plus n so that is the definition of beta binomial distribution so basically it is a compound uh, distribution consisting of both beta and binomial so in this case what it really means is the conditional variable that is x the variable x equal to k given uh, the value p and n that is p is the probability or the p is the probability parameter of the binomial distribution uh, then this conditional distribution is given by the binomial distribution so it is following a binomial distribution with the parameters n and p that is defined as n c k multiplied by p power k into 1 minus p power n minus k so that is the definition of the conditional variable that is the probability the mass function of the conditional variable now our goal is to find the expectation of x x equal to k that is we want to find the expectation of x uh, x equal to k so that means what is this uh, mean value that is what is the overall mean value so recall that the uh, mean of recall that the mean of a binomial random variable is a, the mean of a binomial random variable is given by expectation of x equal to k given p comma n that is the conditional mean will be simply np so since x equal to a k given the parameter p and n uh, then this is a binomial random variable so then its mean will be simply n into p now the mean of the overall random variable that is when this uh, when we integrate the dependence on p so then this will be defined as the summation or uh, of the product k into the probability that is p of x equal to k now this can be rewritten as summation k probability of x equal to k can be written as marginalized probability of x equal to k comma small p so p is the parameter so here p itself is a random variable so dp so that is the definition now we can write, rewrite this one as follows summation over k integral we can decompose this one as a conditional density x equal to k given p comma n and then multiplied by uh, density function this is the conditional probability mass function and this one is the condition this one is the density of p it is f of p with the parameter n and then dp so we can rewrite this uh, summation of integral as integral of sum so we have integral of integral f of p the parameter n and then summation over k conditional mass function that is conditional probability mass function uh, over p comma n so this summation that is summation k probability of x equal to k p comma n that's probability is basically a beta so this conditional mass function and then we have dp so and this value is nothing but our np so we are, we are left with a uh, the mean of x equal to k that is mean of x is basically e equal to integral n into p f of p comma n that is a beta distribution and the integration is with respect to p so the, the mean of x equal to k is given by integral n p beta distribution of the variable p the random variable p with the parameters alpha comma beta and dp here which basically the probability density of p with parameter n is actually equal to a beta distribution the parameter of the para of the variable p with respect to parameters alpha beta comma n 
so since uh, we are not really worried about n so we drop the value of n in the definition so expectation of x in short is equal to n times integral p times beta of p with the parameters alpha comma beta dp so this integral is nothing but the mean of the parameter p uh, for a beta random variable so expectation of x that is the mean of the uh, random variable x is simply n times the mean of the beta distribution of the beta random variable which is basically alpha by alpha plus b therefore the mean of a random variable that follows a beta binomial distribution is simply given by n into alpha by alpha plus. so to summarize in this video we have looked at the derivation of the mean of beta binomial distribution so the beta binomial distribution is given by this product that is product consisting of ncx a combination of ncx and uh, combination ncx then gamma of alpha plus beta by product of uh, gamma of alpha and gamma of beta and then another ratio of gamma of x plus alpha multiplied by gamma of n minus x plus beta and in the denominator we have gamma of alpha plus beta plus n so this is distribution is basically a compounded distribution of a binomial and beta that means the conditional variable follows a binomial distribution and the parameter p itself follows a beta distribution and now the conditional variable has a mean given by np because the conditional variable follows a binomial distribution so the binomial random variable has the mean equal to n into p so this is the mean value of the conditioned variable so now we can find the overall mean as basically the mean over the entire density function or in this case entire probability so this value probability of x equal to k can be written as the basically marginalized over the joint value that is uh, we can then decompose the joint density as uh, basically consisting of this conditional um, probability mass function and then this density function of p and then we can rewrite the uh, we can basically rearrange the summation and integral as integral and summation and finally we derive that the expectation of x is equal to integral np and then the density function of p so but the density function of p is nothing but a beta distribution so we have expectation of x is nothing but n times the mean of a beta distribution that is mean of a random variable following a beta distribution so in fact the mean of the random variable x that follows a beta binomial distribution is given by n into alpha by alpha plus beta thanks for watching